dashing and daring, courageous and caring, faithful and friendly, with stories to share. Now, you may think that that's a description of me, but it's not. Well, I mean, I am faithful and friendly at the least. No, it's a description of today's episode, which is... The Gummy Bears! Ooh, gummy bears. Mmm. Oh. Very tasty. Not too courageous and caring. But, better not have too many of them. Because it'll hurt what I'm about to do next. Because I'm Adam, and I play... The tuba! A tip for those of you who do play brass instruments. Do not eat a lot of sugary foods before playing your instrument. Because the sugars in your saliva will get into the horn and will wreak havoc. Corroding the inside. It's not a... it's no picnic. Uh, if you do happen to do that, I suggest rinsing the horn, cleaning it with a nice, giving it a nice bath, which this horn desperately needs, but we'll get to that another time. Um, let's move on to the subject of today's episode, which is gummy bears. And as you saw earlier, I have some gummy bears here today. Uh, these are spelled with a Y, but Disney's cartoon is spelled with an I. And it, that is, uh, however, the cartoon was inspired by the actual candies. And who was the person who, who came up with the idea for this cartoon? Why? It was current Disney, Disney CEO, Michael Eisner. That's right. Or, wait, former Disney CEO, because Iger's in charge. Now, I don't, I don't know the corporate, uh, you know, goings-on of Disney right now, but Michael Eisner was the one who came up with gummy bears after his kid had asked for some of the candies. Now, uh, what else uh, other significance does gummy bears have? Now, I have said that this is a... Uh, series of Disney 90s cartoons, the 1990s. Uh, while Gummy Bears began in 1985, the show continued until 1991. Therefore, it still counts as a 90s cartoon. Now, 1985 is significant because this very cartoon, Gummy Bears, was the very first Disney animated television show. Uh, Disney had done a, a ton of animation before, but it had all been at the movies, in films, animated films, but not animated television shows until Gummy Bears. And uh, had an iconic theme song, which you'll hear in a moment, uh, done by Mr. and Mrs. Silvershire, uh, Michael and Patty Silvershire. Uh, who went on to compose uh, music for other Disney cartoons as well, such as Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, and uh, a ton of other Disney 90s cartoons, which uh, some of which will be uh, in later episodes. But they did not do any more theme songs for Disney shows that I am aware of. Just the Gummy Bears, which is, I don't know how they stopped, because this is an amazing, amazing, wonderful song that uh, gives me goosebumps every time I hear it. Uh, the lyrics and the music are fantastic. Uh, but enough gushing about that. I'm sure you'll want to hear it for yourself. So without further ado, and with much more fanfare, I give you Disney's Gummy Bears. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
gummy bears. I hope they bring it back sometime. But until then, you have this wonderful Adam plays the tuba, and of course they have all the episodes out available on DVD and VHS, if you still have a VHS player. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm sure Disney will add it to their repertoire when they come out with their own streaming service soon. Uh, if you like this video, and give it a like make sure you do that uh make sure you share it with all your friends especially those who remember uh disney's 90 cartoons and be sure to subscribe and see more adam plays the tuba videos see you next time for part three of our five-part 90s disney cartoon series <laughs>